You guys are awesome. So a couple days ago, I posted about a game I finished. I got up in the uh, Google Play Store, and I asked you guys to go and play it, just because I want people to play it, because I worked hard on it. And so far, about 50 of you have downloaded and played it, and a lot of you have reviewed it, given it good reviews. And so I just want to say thank you. Again, I'm working on another game that's way more. That game was that I just did, Space Attack 2, was a test game as I learned the, the Godot engine. But I've got this whole other game that I'm working on that I've mentioned before, and I'll get more into in the future. But I just wanted to start off by thanking you guys. Now also, let me go into a little bit of a rant and then a conclusion. So. Uh, you know, I finished this game over a month ago, and I'm one of those people, I finish a project, I move on to a new project, I'm done with that. So when I posted this, I got a lot of suggestions from people. Not that they were bad suggestions, but it's just like, I was just like, oh, I, I'm done working on that. If there's a problem, I can fix a problem, but I don't want to change the game. But there were probably three or four things that a lot of people were saying. Uh, so I took it into consideration, and I wasn't thrilled with some of them. So one of the big ones was people kept wanting the game to automatically shoot whenever you were touching the screen, which I think makes the game too easy. I think people don't understand the concept of how I designed the game. You aren't supposed to be dragging the ship around. You're supposed to be tapping the screen where you want to go. Because another people thing people complained about was that the ship was under their finger, but your finger shouldn't be on the screen constantly. To me, Having the gun shoot all the time is like someone sending an email to John Carmack being like, jo Dear John, I think Doom is great and I love all the weapons, but could you change it so that I have unlimited plasma rifle ammo and it just constantly shot plasma shots as I walked around the level? It, it, it's, it just it doesn't make sense to me. And uh, it, sometimes features are good. That might be a good feature for another game. I didn't think it was a good feature for my game the way I designed it. I thought, oh, if I did that, I might have to redesign the way the bad guys work, because now it's going to be too easy, because you're just going to be shooting constantly. Again, going back to like a Doom example, in original Doom, you couldn't shoot up and down manually. The game would shoot up for you if there was a bad guy, but, but you couldn't shoot up. You also couldn't jump. Uh, these are features that are good in games, but in original Doom, if you enable those features, which some ports allow you to enable those features, makes the game too easy. If you can jump, you can jump over ledges that you couldn't before and just skip over big parts of levels. Or, for a good example, is the very end of Doom 2. You had to get on this platform and as it raised up, you had to shoot a rocket through an opening at the right time. You had to do that three times while all these bad guys are attacking you. If you enable to where you can look and shoot, you can just walk into that level, shoot three times, and the game's over. So, not that they're bad features, but they were bad for that game design. And I'm concerned that having auto fire on all the time is a bad design for my game. That being said, I did it. You guys asked for it, I did it. First I enabled it as, a, as an option you can enable, and then people, as soon as I added that feature, people were like, it should be enabled by default. It's enabled by default, it works with all your power-up weapons, you can turn it off if you want in the settings. Um, so, yes. Uh, I, I reluctantly, because I don't want to be one of those developers that just tells people no, and I, I completely understand when I go to GitHub or one of those places and I see people asking for certain things, lots of times developers, they seem very stern. No, no, I'm not going to do that. And I completely get that. You have a lot you want to do, a lot, you, and you can't please everybody. But I figured these changes were changes I could do fairly easily, and a lot of people are asking for them, so I did it. Um, that being said, I just pushed those updates a little bit ago. Google's got to review it first, but uh, the, those updates should be pushed out later today. You should get them on your device if you already have it installed, or if you install it later on, they should already be there. Um, so again, uh, the things I, I changed, I changed so that when you're touching the screen, the ship doesn't go to where your finger is, it goes in front of your finger, which is throwing off my gameplay because I'm trying to pick up power-ups and I'm clicking where the power-ups are and now I'm missing them, but it's what people ask for. <laughs> yes, I'm going to be very, uh, you know, uh, negative about this because I, I, I designed the game a certain way, but I also want people to enjoy playing it. So, yeah, uh, not trying to sound negative, just trying to show my point of view. I designed a game a certain way, but I want it to be fun for everybody and the whole point of having an open source community is that we can make these changes. Uh, so check it out. 
Uh, again, thank you so much for playing, and if you have any other, other suggestions, you can just keep them to yourself. No, let me know. I'll see what I can do. But I am very busy, not only on my new game, Cyber Griffin, which again is a, a 2D side-scrolling, platforming, Doom-style game, if that makes any sense. It's Doom meets Mario Brothers, as I described it to somebody the other day. Um, but I love it. It's coming along great, and uh, it still has a lot of work, but it's... It's, it's coming along great. I'm very excited about it, and I hope you guys are too, and I will be talking about that a lot more as I work on it and showing you guys it. Um, but I feel like there's something else I was going to say. <laughs> Thanks again for playing. Thanks for watching. And if you haven't downloaded it, check out the link in the description of the video. You can get it there. Oh, if you search for it in the Google Play Store, someone said, oh, it's not coming up in searches. I'm aware of that um, from what I've read. Sometimes it takes two or three days, which it's been two or three days before your app is searchable in the App Store. Just got to propagate through there, I guess. Uh, hopefully you can search for it soon. Um, but there's links in the description to where you can get to it and the source code, so check that out. Thanks for watching, and I hope that you have a great day.